Hi there everybody, Luke Mahalsik here, Technical Marketing Manager for Autodesk, and I had a chance to catch up with Sam Mergy the other day to talk about HPC or High Performance Computing. And with computers nowadays, leveraging High Performance Computing is much more attainable. And I asked Sam three questions. First of all, what is HPC and what's the history behind it? Secondly, what kind of benefits can a user expect when they implement HPC? And then finally, I asked Sam, how do all of the products inside of the Autodesk simulation portfolio leverage HPC? So let's take a look at what Sam had to say. So one of the questions that, that, that I get a lot, and I'm sure you hear, is, you know, what is HPC? HPC stands for High Performance Computing, Luke. Historically, that's meant using supercomputers to solve large, comp complex scientific applications. More recently, it's meant using clusters to solve those same applications. Even more recently, it's about using the cloud, basically large, very, very large clusters. So, so when I decide to, to leverage HPC, or if, if I'm looking into doing HPC, uh, what kind of benefits could I expect? Three main benefits, the first of which is time, and arguably that's the most important benefit. Uh, running High performance computing was exactly what the name implies. It, gives you high performance, which means it runs faster. Uh, it can run larger models, it can run, do things quicker. And saving the engineer time is saving the company money. So that's the primary benefit. Also, the second benefit is that the world's made up of complex assemblies, as it were. Complex nonlinear assemblies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, in, in the past, to, to run analysis, uh, the models were the were simplified quite a bit uh, and they were also usually did a simple linear analysis as well because that's all you could afford to do in a, in a timely fashion but with high performance computing today's computing power and the high performance computing techniques uh, engineers are now able to run large complex nonlinear models and that just weren't practical uh, 10 15 years ago lastly uh, high performance computing techniques will allow you to do what if scenarios. Um, you are able to run multiple instances of your, your model in the time it would have taken to run only, only one run, for example. And, and for that will allow you to optimize or to see the effects of changes of, of, of materials or slight changes in geometry and, and like that. And the, but without um, that much more additional time on the engineer's part. So, so the, the last question I have is, the Autodesk simulation portfolio has HPC in each one of its products. Could, could you give us an idea of, of how that's set up in each one of those? Sure. The, the, a Moleflow has an algebraic multigrid solver, which solves large models. It also has shared memory uh, parallel support, meaning it'll take fully take advantage of uh, multi-core systems. It also has support for the NVIDIA GPU in it as well. The Autodesk Simulation Mechanical Multiphysics packages have shared memory and distributed memory, memory parallel in it, again, taking advantage of uh, multi-core systems and clusters with a distributed memory parallel. Uh, Autodesk Inventor Professional Simulation has cloud support with Project Centaur. You're able to do uh, what-if scenarios and optimization there on the cloud. And uh, CF Design, recently uh, acquired by Autodesk, has also has shared memory and distributed memory parallel capabilities through and using domain decomposition techniques. Thanks for your time, Sam. I appreciate it. Thank you, Luke. And don't forget to check us out at simsquad.com.